Getting me up in the morning, I have a place to go on a daily basis, working with the children. Sandra Wood goes to school to help kids. The 72-year-old has been a foster grandmother for a decade. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Sandra Wood makes breakfast for kids. In another school, her colleague Ronald Lewis is also working with children. So when I come in the morning, I try to rush to meet my classmates at the front door, greet them by hand or hug. Grandfather Lewis makes sure kids behave. Well, most kids I have uh, run across boys that are very hyped up, a lot of energy. So I get involved with them, make sure they calm down. Lewis and Wood are part of the foster grandparent program. Volunteers must be 55 or older and meet certain income guidelines, fill in an online form, pass a physical exam, and complete a week of training. So many of our seniors come to us with a sincere, sincere desire to serve, but they haven't taught in a long time. They haven't been around the school system. So there are three things we try to accomplish with our training. One is we try to get them familiar with the new concepts and vocabulary related to education. Two, we have them to look and get rid of some of their old ideas as to how children learn. And three, we try to simulate an environment where they feel like they're the child in the classroom. Then the newly appointed foster grandparents get assigned to schools, usually near their homes. Teachers appreciate their help. I can't even put it in words. It's like my right arm. She's thinking what I'm thinking before I'm thinking it or while I'm thinking it. She's always here. She helps the children. The kids love foster grandparents too. For them, they are older friends that can help. He's just so, a grandpa at school because, because my grandparents, they what? don't come to the school, so I think it would be nice to have another grandpa at what? the school where I am. Foster grandparents are volunteers who get a small stipend, lunch and reimbursement for travel. Across the country, 20,000 senior citizens are foster grandparents. Washington alone has more than 200, and another 100 have signed up to join here. Valesia Bakalets in Washington, NRI's VOA News.